Tough shot baseline. Nope. Noel kept it alive for a moment, picked off by Tatum, gets it quickly to Smart. Brown. Count it. Look at the body control. Celtics in transition up the floor. Look at the timing of this pass and watch Jalen Brown. Are you kidding me? Nice bounce pass. Hey, finally, it's good to see Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum working together on the two-man game. Absolutely. Down to 10 in the shot clock. They get it to Brown. Takes a three. Makes a three. Jalen Brown in the zone. Ojale has had the hot hand at the moment. Romeo is going to take it. Got it. Man, step back three. Nice job by Romeo Langford. Flip to the corner. Brown unable to hit the three. Man, Tristan Thompson. Yeah. Battling on the glass. Tatum. Whoa. Jason Tatum. Top of the key. Turns the corner. Elevates. Throws it down. Tatum is going to take it. Make it. Same play. This time Tatum counters and goes with a pull up three. Tatum going to the basket. Whoa. That they find a way for them. That is how you drive to the basket. Brown. Williams. Love that pass from Jalen Brown. Love the aggressiveness. That's how the Celtics got to beat the Knicks. Let's go. Smart. Tatum steps into a three. Ferries it. Good ball movement by the Celtics. Going side to side. And Jason Tatum peeing up a three. Rose going to the hoop again. Slapped away. Brown for two. Jalen Brown just accelerates past the entire Knicks and gets the transition layup. Barrett off the bounce and lost it. No, he saved it, but it's picked off by Boston. His Brown on the break. They're not stopping that man in transition. No way. Gets it back from Smart. Eight in the shot clock. Over to Smart. Takes it. Got it. Take that. They're going to leave Marcus Smart late in the game. Jalen Brown was the one that set the tone. He came out with a mentality that we're, I'm going to come out swinging, and he did just that, playing with a ton of energy. Tough shot baseline. Nope. Noel kept it alive for a moment, picked off by Tatum, gets it quickly to Smart. Brown. Count it. Look at the body control. Avoids the charge. Still finishes off the glass. Barrett off the bounce and lost it, but it's picked off by Boston. His Brown on the break. They're not stopping that man in transition. No way. Gets it back from Smart. Eight in the shot clock. Over to Smart. Takes it. Got it. Take that. They're going to leave Marcus Smart late in the game. Yeah, physicality and rebounding. I don't think we win this game if it's not for Tristan Thompson, but he's not the only one. I think Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, both those guys got in there in the fight. Marcus Smart defensively, you know, making it tough. Like Julius Randle, he knew. Every time Julius Randle had Marcus Smart on him, he just passed the ball. <laughs> I really like the energy the and, and the physicality that, that they brought. I've been listening to this rap song lately. Uh, lately, it just keeps on coming by, and the guy in the song talks about getting it in the mud. Today, the Celtics got it in the mud, and I think about you every time this guy says it, Perk. You know, watching my guys out there not be able to contribute and help, and, uh, you know, uh, I think, uh, you know, we definitely needed a little spark and juice, so I wanted to be able to bring that tonight, especially the second game of a back-to-back -back with no Kemba playing, so I wanted to just bring that energy and, uh, you know, just, just protect our yard. We needed it.
you know, and those are the type of wins that, you know, um, really, really makes a team, you know, really helps the team get back on track. And, uh, you know, we got to continue to, to take this win and carry it on uh, from here on out. There was a moment there with a couple of minutes to go. There was a turnover. And that was the type of play that maybe in the past would trigger something negative. Why Why were you guys able this time to, to settle down and, and close out the game? Um, we were able to we were able to stay calm, you know, um, something that we, we, we've been doing all season. We decided not to do it. And let's hang our heads after a play. Um, you know, like like that off of a turnover, and uh, <clears throat> you know, just trust one another to come down and, and get a stop and uh, and go down on that uh, on the other end and execute. So, um, in the past, you know, like I said, heads would have probably been hanging and, and the momentum probably would have been shifted uh, to the opponents. But tonight, you know, we just made a uh, a big effort and you know to, to to constantly keep going no matter what happens on either end. That was a what we're used to grind it out physical kind of Celtics win that I think has um, been what we've been about when we're at our best. You know, I thought that we played really hard tonight, thought we really guarded tonight, super physical, second night of a back to back. You know, we didn't shoot it perfectly. We missed, we had that stretch in the start of the fourth where we went cold, but um, just a great, you know, response after, you know, a tough one last night to come back and play another physical tough team with Kimba out. You know, that was, that's one of our better wins of the year, um, all things considered, because of the way that our guys had to figure out a way to win. Yesterday was a tough one for us. That wasn't our best showing. So, you know, I talked to JT before the game and we almost had to just forget, you know, about everything and I just said let's just come out and play and play basketball be aggressive and just be your best version of, of ourselves it, it's so much outside noise you know so many things that um, is shifting around I just needed to come out and and be Jalen uh, and our team you know our team played great together tonight I initiated it you know as soon as we came in you know I just my energy was just upbeat I was just you know, I had a conversation with him like like we know yesterday was, was uh, not our best song, but like, man, let's just play basketball. You know, I got you, you got me. Um, let's let's run, let's be us, and, and have a great game. Um, and, and I think that's kind of, you know, what got things going for us. But um, Smart led the way, you know, with his energy as well. And, and a lot of these guys stepped up. Yeah, I just believe in his resolve. I believe in who he is as a competitor. Um, I know because I've been around him, um, you know, I know that sometimes we get caught up in some of his home run swings he takes and, and, you know, I think those get over analyzed and everybody misses the fact that he's got the courage to do it. Um, he is, he's tough. He helps you win. And uh, tonight, you know, he made a ton of big plays. You know, he doesn't, he's not excited us about us being 500. Um, none of us are, but in some ways that's the, you know, the season we've had, it's obviously who we are right now as a team, but again, you know, if we can have more nights like this, play the physical like that, um, and he did a great job of leading that, then we'll have a chance. How many times have you guys had to have, you know, conversations like that this season? Um, we probably should have those conversations just more. You know, sometimes uh, the way things are going, you know, and then how much pressure we get from you guys in the media kind of, you know, makes us less, you know, open to talk or, you know, more upset about things that, you know, aren't that big of a deal. You know, in hindsight, you know, things could be worse. Um, I think we still have a chance to, to make a run and we still have a chance to, to, to do everything that we said we wanted to do. Um, so sometimes just one game just tends to carry over. And today we didn't let that happen. We'll wrap it up right there. Next, Jalen. Thank you. Enlightening conversation with Jalen Brown as we're back here on Celtics Post Game Live. Abby and Perk. Perk, to me, I hear leadership there from Jalen Brown.
Absolutely. And I, I hope Jalen Brown was talking about Big Perk and that tweet I put out about <laughs> Jason Tatum. I really do, because look, he said nothing wrong. He said everything he was supposed to say. And sometimes it's good. That is a leader. And that's what, this is why I'm saying his mindset, the way he attacked the game tonight, Abby, yeah. it showed that he had that type of conversation. No question about it. He came out, as you said, at halftime. He set the tone, Perk. Put up 12 shots in the first quarter. That's the most by any player this season. 